With the release of Update 13 for Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited comes the moment many of us have been waiting for. Player housing. Yes, houses of all shapes, races and sizes have finally arrived. Along with the shiny new apartments and houses comes the addition of furnishings to flesh out that not so humble abode of yours. Some houses can cost up to nearly 4 million gold, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, let's dive into the details of how it will all work. There are 39 homes that can be acquired by each player. 3 apartments, one for each faction, 10 small homes, 10 medium homes, 10 large homes, one for each playable race, and 3 manors, one for each faction. Each character, not player, will receive one in-room of their chosen alliance for completing the quest given to them by Canthi and the housing broker, who is located at specific banks around Tamriel. After that, each home may be purchased for in-game gold or from the crown store Homes will not have any maintenance fees and are yours permanently once purchased and are shared with other characters on the same account. In order to purchase homes, players will need to find their locations across Tamriel, click on the front door, and follow the purchasing instructions. Some homes require the player to have completed in-game accomplishments. For example, Hero of Daggerfall and Imperial Houses will require the player to own the Imperial Edition or Imperial Edition upgrade in order to purchase. However, Homes purchased from the Crown Store will bypass all requirements for any home. Homes have limits on the number of items, collectibles, and visitors that may be present, with larger homes having higher caps. These numbers will double for players who possess an active ESO Plus membership, providing yet another reason to subscribe to the game. Dueling is allowed inside homes, except for apartments and in-rooms, and pets, assistants, and mounts cannot be summoned inside homes, but can be placed as decorations. Players will be able to place objects and decorate their homes via the housing editor that is selectable once inside a home. Items and collectibles placed will be removed from your inventory or bank and will count towards the cap limit of your home. You can place any object at any angle with the only limitations being that you cannot go over the housing cap for your particular home and there is a small space at the entrance of each home that will not allow for objects to be placed. In addition to furnishing items, you can also place assistants, mounts, non-combat pets, and a new category of furnishing collectibles called trophies that includes undaunted busts inside your home. There are separate limits for furnishings, furnishing collectibles, and other collectibles such as pets or mounts. Players may also place specialty furnishings in their homes that serve specific purposes beyond decoration. These are as follows. Assistants, such as Nuzumid the Merchant, light sources that can be lit or extinguished, seating that players can sit upon, target skeletons which can be used as training dummies for DPS tests and trying new builds and skills, guild reprints of Shalador's library which can be read by any player who enters your home, they won't get credit unless they read the original however, standard crafting stations to be able to craft equipment or potions, attunable crafting stations which can be activated at any item set crafting station in the world permanently attuning the station to the unique energies of that item set and binding the station to you. Once attuned, the station can be placed as a furnishing in your home and used by you and your guests to craft items from the set it is attuned to. And lastly, unique objects such as dark anchor pinions that open and close and dummy Elder Scrolls like the ones you see in Cyrodiil. Players can acquire items to place in their homes in several ways, one of which is furniture crafting and will be explained later. Another is by purchasing them from Xanil Theron, the luxury furniture vendor found in the Hollow City in Cold Harbor. He will appear on weekends, similarly to Adizabi Abadaro the Golden in Cyrodiil, with a different selection of items each week. Players can also purchase housing items from home good furnitures located in each alliance's main city and all capitals. These vendors will provide a selection of basic furnishings as well as materials to craft from the local region. Undaunted busts are acquired by defeating the final boss in veteran dungeons, trials, and arenas, with 34 in total. Rare furnishing items can also be caught while fishing or rewarded by the shadowy supplier. Lastly, players can purchase items from the Crown Store, with a few items being Crown Store exclusive. With the addition of housing, so too comes the addition of furnishings that can be crafted. In order to craft furnishings, Players will need to first obtain the required plans and ingredients. Plans can be found in containers, purchased from certain merchants, 
dropped from monsters, or even acquired from pickpocketing or murdering citizens across Tamriel. Yikes. Higher quality plants will require knowledge from multiple crafting proficiencies. The new materials and ingredients needed can be found from the same locations that players normally harvest crafting materials from. Ore, wood, plants, crates, runes, etc. And each crafting proficiency will also have its own set of plants that can be crafted, so everyone will be able to make things for homes. Home furnishings will also be craftable in racial styles, but unlike equipment, it will not be required to know the corresponding racial motif to craft a particular style. However, players will still need to have the correct amount of style gems needed in order to craft a furnishing. In addition, like equipment, higher quality items will often require tannins, tempers, and rosins to make, making the demand for these materials soar to an all-time high. All plans, ingredients, and output items are tradable and can be sold or given to other players for their homes. Zenimax has brought a hefty housing feature to players of the Elder Scrolls Online. Having a place to call your own may seem like an afterthought or a nice to have, but in an MMO, where socializing and collecting of loot and trophies is so paramount, having a place to settle down, gather, and display the fruits of your efforts is a gratifying experience that ties it all together. The dizzy amount of options that we have been given, between types of homes, decorations, and furnishings, all combine to create limitless combinations. As a result, no two homes will ever even be close to being alike, and in MMOs, being able to express your individuality is an important element. The new year is just beginning, and much more is to follow for the Elder Scrolls Online. Here's to kicking it off with the satisfying unleashing of our inner real estate agents and interior decorators. So, my place or yours? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe here, and check the Elder Scrolls Online wiki for much, much more.